Hello my lovely Capricorns, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. We're doing a love reading of 2023 and the cards have already jumped out for you. So let's see what the message is. Okay, the fall. Oh, I love it. Okay, a new beginning, a new beginning in love. So if you are single, you could have someone coming into your life, which is going to be a whole new relationship. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to be a new adventure. Um, if you're in a relationship, I feel that there's going to be a new beginning for you. Something is going to be happening in your love life. It could be um, moving in together. It could be an engagement. It could be a baby. It could be traveling, whatever it is, but there's going to be a new beginning happening for you in 2023 in your love life. Also Capricorn, I feel for some of you, this will require you to take a leap of faith. You're unsure. Um, I feel for some of you, you're going to be unsure if you want to, um, uh, uh, to start a relationship again thank you can't get my words out then uh you're unsure of the person that's coming into your life you're not sure if you want to be with them you're not sure you're just not sure um you've been hurt before so you're not sure if you want to go into another relationship and for others of you it's like there's an opportunity coming up for you and your partner you're with now but it will take a leap of faith so like Maybe your partner wants to go traveling, but you're not sure, but it will take a leap of faith for you to go on, go and do something, okay? That's not for all of you, that's just for some of you. You also got the Four of Cups, and the final card is the Strength card, okay? So you've got the Four of Cups here and the Strength card here. So the Four of Cups is saying that you need to stop focusing on one thing and look at things around you. So there's things that are being offered to you but you're so focused on either the past or you're so focused on one particular thing that you can't see what else is around you. So let's just say that you are focused on um, buying a house. Let's just use that as an example. You're focused on buying a house with your partner and there's this one house that you want and you're so focused on it. You know exactly what kind of house you want and everything else and there's nothing else that's going to touch it and you're just solely focused on that. By focusing on that too much, you can't actually see that whatever, what, what else is around you that's gonna that, that might be perfect for you so let's say this is in love maybe you're focused on a particular person a, t a particular type of person maybe you have a list of of the way you want think that the kind of person you want to bring into your life you have this big long list and they've got to tick off all the boxes um but by focusing on that and solely focusing on that list and nothing else you can't see that actually there is a perfect person that might not have everything on the list, but has the main qualities on the list. It's actually perfect for you. So rather than focus on one thing, just be present in the moment. Just be there. Just be, yeah, just be present and see all the opportunities that are around you. Because by seeing everything that is around you is the time that you're going to meet this person. So it's okay, to, I feel like I need to say, it's okay to have a list of everything that you want your person to be, but sometimes it can be too tightly wound. And sometimes we just need to think, the, what's the main qualities of that list? Like, what is the main things out of that list? Say you've got a list of 20 things that you want out of a partner. What are the top five things that they must have or the top three things that is important to you? Loyalty, trust, kindness. What, what is the, the most important qualities to have in a, in a partner? And knows that the thing is, you're so widely um, tightly, tightly wound. <laughs> get, get the words out. You're so tightly wound on um, that that specific list, and everything needs to be bomb, bomb, bomb. That you can't see that the actual main qualities that you have on that list is the person that's standing right beside you or the person that's right behind you so think of the qualities now you've got the strength card here now i feel that the strength card with this one is yes it says a lot of inner strength if you're going to take a leap of faith that takes a lot of courage a lot of strength to do it and i feel that is for some of you that's something you're going to need to do to be able to take uh, to start a new adventure, to start a new journey, you need to take that leap of faith and that is going to be really d digging down deep and um, bringing up courage to be able to do that. For others of you, it's kind of like, do you know what, I'm going to take a step back from that. I'm not sure if I want to be with that person. I'm not sure about the situation right now. So I'm just going to draw myself back and walk away from this to give myself peace. 
So for some of you, you just want peace and that takes a lot of strength to be able to do that, especially if you wanna retaliate on something. But for others of you, it's about digging down deep and pulling out courage. And that is what you need to be working on in the year of 2023 in love. Okay. The Queen of Coins. Thank you. The Temperance card and the Two of Coins, yep. Yeah. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Coins. You are starting to grow. You are starting to realise that the things that you once had is not everything that you need. Um, you are starting to narrow things down to what is it that is necessary to me? What is it that is the core importance of me? And everything else can be removed. So I'm just focusing purely on the core of importance. What is What aligns with my values? What aligns with my beliefs when it comes to love? And you're going to remove everything else that doesn't, doesn't align with you. Because maybe you've been trying to fit in boxes with other people and it's you always ended up getting hurt. So what is it that you want? What's your values? What's your beliefs? What is it that is going to align with you? And you're starting to realise that and removing everything that, that doesn't align with it. Now, with the full card, you have the Queen of Coins. Now, I feel here that... There is someone new coming in, but you are fiercely independent and you're very much a hard worker. You've worked hard to get to the point where you're at. So this could be financially. This could also be just in a better place of where you are. So taking a leap into love is something that you're unsure of doing. If you are buying a house or going to travel or doing something with your partner, there is a lot of um, financial situation um, around that. I feel that there is some kind of financial situation around it. And you're unsure if you want to invest in that right now. Like if you go and travel in, do you want to invest the money that you've been saving for a house into traveling? If you've been saving for a house, are you sure you want to invest in that particular house or are you settling for the house because you just want to get a house? So I feel that you're fiercely independent, fiercely independent and I feel that you need to make sure you're doing something that is right for you. Um, but it will, inquire, it will require you to take a leap of faith and not a dangerous lead. This is a very, this feels scary, but it feels right. Okay, that's the leap of faith you need to take. I feel scared to take this jump. I feel scared because I don't know what the unknown is. But also I know I kind of need to take it. As long as you stay independent and you stay strong and you still hold on to what, what your values and beliefs are, take the leap. Okay. I do feel that for some of you... You've had, uh, you've had to come out of some financial situation from a previous relationship. A previous relationship left you in a, financial, a, a, a bad financial place and you've worked hard to get yourself out of that place and you're scared to jump into another relationship in case they do the same thing again. Now with the Four of Cups, you've got the Temperance card. The Four of Cups, like I said before, is you maybe focusing too much on something and not seeing what else is around you. I'm also getting the energy now that the Four of Cups is you focus too much on the past, you're not going to see, you're not living in the present or be able to um, enjoy the future. With the Temperance card here, it's asking you to find balance. You need to find balance. Okay, stop focusing on just one thing and look around you. Open your eyes to everything else that is around you. Stop focusing on the past because the past is the past and there's nothing you can do about it. Take the lessons and move forward and start being more in the present moment. You need to have more balance within yourself and you need to have patience with yourself. Stop trying to rush it. Everything will happen when it happens. Okay, everything will happen when you're healed. But right now, you just need a little bit more work to do. I do feel there's a new beginner coming in for you in 2023. But at this moment, you need to have patience with yourself to heal from the past. Because you're so focused on one thing that you can't see everything else around you. You just need to heal that. So with the strength card, you've got the two of coins. It is definitely time for you, Capricorn, to start planning your future. Um, it is going to take a lot of strength and a lot of courage to be able to do the things that you want to do. But if you just keep thinking about it and not plan for it, you're just going to stay where you are. So if you can see here, the dark ship is here, which is the door that she is in. But over here, she's waiting for the boat to come in. This is it. This is you. You're waiting for the boat to come in over your love life and the boat is on its way. But you need to start planning, you start healing, you start getting ready for when this new relationship comes into your life. Oh, okay. Let's get some final tarot cards for you. So, okay. Nine of Swords. That has come up in every reading so far. So, 
So we've got the Nine of Swords, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, and we've got the Ten of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Pentacles. I feel that this relationship that you're going to be going into is going to be a very much give and take relationship. It's not going to be where you give everything of yourself and don't receive anything back. It's going to be a mutual understanding. They're going to give to you, you're going to give to them. They're going to teach you, you're going to teach them. It's a perfect match. Okay, you've got the Nine of Swords here. This is where you are right now. Where you are right now is the Nine of Swords. You're in this place of depression, anxiety, um, like got steel walls up to not let anybody in because you're scared of getting hurt. Now, like I said before, you've got the black birds here, but right here is the white bird trying to get through to get to you to let you know that it's going to be okay. It's time to bring the walls down. For the beginning of 2023, Capricorn, you need to start bringing the walls down. Okay, you need to bring those walls down very slowly. You don't need to get a sledgehammer and knock them down. You take one brick out at a time, heal the wound, heal the wound, and then you can love from a scar rather than love from bleeding all over people. Okay, then you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this shows that you are going to be successful and abundant. Not only that, but you've got very, you've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You're going to be very happy, very fulfilled, very completed. This could be a happy ever after, and not just emotionally, but financially as well. So I feel that if you've been working on your career, then you're going to be getting a lot of success and abundance in your career, as well as meeting a new person. And the Ten of Cups, you're going to be feel, filled with love, with romance. It is your happy ever after. So 2023 for you, Capricorn, is shaping up to be a good one. But at the beginning of 2023, there's some healing work you need to do. So let's get a Lover's Oracle card for you. Okay, one did flip, so I'm going to take that. Okay, so my... My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So if you are in a long distance relationship, remember that even though you are apart spiritually, you are you are together. It could also mean as well that like your person that is coming in, you will have that spiritual connection and you might start feeling something happening. Um in your love life you're like oh just something just feels a bit different and that's just that you're starting to connect on a spiritual plane okay you've also got um passion here so a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present you are very very attractive right now capricorn this is what's going to bring people in i feel that when you start bringing these walls down you're going to get more and more attractive and then you're going to have a load of people coming at you <laughs> uh, so you know get ready for that Okay, give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And then the, my cards here is I am grateful for all the good in my life. Be grateful for all the love that you have. Um, even if you've not got romantic love right now, the love of um, your friends, your family, just uh, for your pets, whatever it is, just give thanks for the love you have because the more grateful you are for love the more love comes into your life and then you've got power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time you know you okay don't let anybody tell you what your thoughts are if your thoughts and feelings are telling you that you need to walk away from something walk away if your thoughts and feelings are telling you to go and do something even though people think it's crazy just go and do it because your thoughts are your thoughts and no one has a right to say that they're wrong Okay, so ask your angels a question, any question you want about your love life, and we'll pull an angel answer oracle card. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps the channel out. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot, there's a link in the description box below. Um, and if you are on TikTok, do go and give me a follow over on TikTok, I'd really, really appreciate it. There's a link for that in the description box below as well. Okay, so cards already came out, and it says there's no need to worry. Whatever it is that's going on with the nine of swords here, there's no need to worry. It's all going to work out. Just take a deep breath, heal one wound at a time. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got unlikely. I do feel for some of you, this is my past partner come back or will this happen? I don't feel that this, this is somebody new. This is something new. So I feel like it's unlikely that this will be a, a past partner. It could be. But um, for the majority of you, I don't feel that it is. I feel this is a new person coming in. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Capricorn. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated, drop it in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.